There's just something about us, man. We're the comeback cats. It's just what happens, man. I don't think that we've played a full 40 minutes yet this year. I feel like it's a gamble. We'd like to be a full game team. That's the goal. You kind of just take the first half slow, then the second half you just gonna want to come and play basketball and win it. It's not going to be easy all the time, especially against good teams. They've already made these shots in practice. They've already been in these situations, so just make sure that they that they know that this is it should be routine for them at this point. Oh, it's not how you start, it's how you end the game. It is what it is. We're a second half team, I guess. The Ohio men's basketball team is keeping its fans on the edge of their seats this season. Out of their 20 games so far, they've outscored their opponents and themselves in the second half 14 times. Whenever it's going bad, we kind of come closer together, and I think that's why we start to play better in the second half, because we realize that our backs are against the wall a little bit, and you know, it's time to play. And 13 of those strong second halves have resulted in wins for the Cats, with the exception of a loss to Akron in double overtime. We never quit. You know, it's not how you start. We might start the game slow, but at the end, you don't quit and you just gotta play to the end. I think it's just something clicks. I mean, some teams just win. Some teams, you know, kind of fold, fold under pressure. I mean, we're not one of those teams. They've proved this several times this season as they are six and three when trailing at half. Probably the biggest factor is just the fact that we've got five seniors on the team. These veterans are showing leadership, collaborating for over half their team's points. These guys, they've been through a lot of different things. And so, um, regardless of situation in the game, they're able to excel and get better as the game goes on. In these nine games where the Cats were playing catch up in the second stanza, senior Nick Kellogg has scored in double digits in all but one, including a career high 23 points at UNC Asheville. They do a good job just being leaders amongst themselves. Another ball of energy for Ohio is Maurice Endor. He continues to lead his team in total points as well as his points per game average, and the same goes for rebounds. I just gotta go to work. I just gotta play my basketball, you know, that's all that's in my mind. Ohio's largest deficit was their most recent game against Central Michigan when the Chippewas scored 18 unanswered points. The Cats were down by eight at the half and didn't get back on top until three and a half minutes were left in the game. Every time in the second half, well, when I don't play a good first half, coach trying to tell me, you know, now is the time, you know, it's the second half, you know, right off the bat, you gotta, you gotta start bowling now. Endor's coach isn't the only one who gets him hyped, though. I know with Nature Boy a bunch of times, I'll say, you know, you know he thinks he's better than you. You know he thinks he's better than you. And I mean, it kind of gets him going. Sometimes you got you know, you to gotta build momentum. And how do you build momentum? Is getting stops, dunking, you know, blocking shots, and you know, those are big plays. But what happens when that momentum is halted by a mistake? If I miss a shot, I make sure I get back on defense and trying to get it back. And same on defense too, if somebody's calling me, I'm trying to go back on the offensive and just call, you, you know, just trying to not compound those mistakes. We're trying to get them to be more consistent for the entire time and, uh, you know, to kind of not necessarily lose focus. This was the case against Bowling Green as they let their lead slip through their fingers. I, I think some of the guys maybe lost focus a little bit, kind of, you know, took the foot off the gas and made a couple plays that I know that they want back. Eastern Michigan was a different story as Ohio trailed by 13 before outscoring the Eagles 20 to five in the final eight minutes. Maybe it's being on the road, but at Northern Illinois, the Bobcats outscored the Huskies 42 to 22 in the second period for the win. It's dangerous because you don't ever want to give a team hope. You kind of want to kill them to begin with. But uh, I mean, it is what it is, man. I mean, wins a win is a win, you know? It is what it is, man. Although we can't predict what will happen in the first half of Ohio's games, what we do know is this, the Cats can claw back from any deficit. We're the comeback Cats, I like it.